welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I put new videos out every Thursday. If I make this whole video with no lipstick on my teeth, I'm playing the lottery. In today's video, we are going to be doing a book haul from a various assortment of places. I have purchased 13 books in the past couple of weeks or so from Amazon, Book Outlet, and Thrift Books. So let's go over what I got. Since Book Outlet is the place that I got the most books at, we'll put that till last. First, let's go over what I got at Amazon. I only got two books here, and they are both in brand new condition, so they were not previously owned. The first one is one that I am reading currently which is Daughter of the Siren Queen. If you have not watched my recent reads video, you'll know that I just finished the first one in this, I believe what is to be a duology. So I picked up the second one and I just started it. I'm literally not even three pages in, so don't ask my opinion. This duology follows our main character, Captain Alosa, who is basically this female riff off of Jack Sparrow. And she is hunting down these parts of a map that will lead to a treasure. In the first book, she is trying to obtain one part of the map, and now in the second part, she needs to obtain the other part. So I'm very excited to see where this book goes, and hopefully we'll finish it up here soon. The other book that I got from Amazon was Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is one that I have been super intrigued by. I've always been someone that has read science fiction, but ever since I delved into booktube, I've went down more of a fantasy fiction route and less of science fiction. So I'm hoping maybe this book will get me back into the science fiction realm. I'm really interested in this because it has so many forms of mixed media in it. So I feel like it will make the reading process go by so quick. So the idea of this book is that there is a planet that is not claimed or owned. So there are two mega corporations that are fighting over who gets to keep it. It would basically be like Amazon and Google trying to own Pluto, if you get what I'm saying. And in the midst of this battle, battle for this planet. The artificial intelligence that plays a big role in this book kind of goes haywire and which causes a deadly plague to start. And so our main character is trying to figure out what's going on and goes into the back end of the AI character and understand what happened and how to fix it. So again, really excited to read this, mainly just because of the mixed media form, but also I really hope this will kickstart my love for science fiction again. Next, I got three books from Thrift Books. I have done a haul from them before. I will try to link it up here if I remember. But the first book that I got from Thrift Books was A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. Again, if you have not seen my recent reads video, I did read the first one in this trilogy soon to be series and loved that. Now I just finished this one last night and again loved it. I probably like this one a little bit more because I think the plot twists in this one completely caught me off guard. I just love Saba Tahir's world building and just her writing style is immaculate. I have fallen in love with these characters and I'm so, so excited to get my hands on A Reaper at the Gates before the fourth book in this series comes out. Next, I got Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I know that this is a pretty popular book on booktube, but again, I'm new here, so I still have to read it. This book is the first one in a large series. We follow our main character, Juliet, who has the lethal touch. So if she touches someone, they're dead. Because she has this lethal touch, there are people that want to weaponize her and so we start off with her in a jail cell because people are trying to weaponize her and all she seeks is freedom so i'm guessing that this is going to be just following her and trying to break out and seek that freedom so i am excited to be read this this is one that is pretty high up on my tbr once i get through the couple that i'm reading right now and the last book that i got from thrift books was the unbecoming of mara dyer by michelle hodgen i don't know much about this book i'm pretty sure that it is more of like a paranormal love story. I know the main character survives an accident that she really wasn't supposed to survive and she then meets this boy that knows more about her past than she does and I believe it kind of unravels from there. This will definitely be one that I pick up around the October months because of the creepiness it does have. For the rest of the books that I show you, these are all going to be from Book Outlet. This is the first time I've purchased from Book Outlet and I'll be honest, I will always purchased from them now. The first book I got from there was A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahara Mafi. She is the same author that 
write the Shatter Me series, so I did get two from her. I didn't realize that until right now, but really excited. Hopefully I like her writing style. I'm really excited to pick this book up because it's not a book that I would normally gravitate to. Like I said, I normally read YA fantasy or YA fiction, maybe some contemporaries, um, but this one deals with some heavy hitting, like hot topic things that I am going to find very interesting. We follow our main character who is a 16 year old Muslim girl and it's the year after 9-11, so it's in 2002, and she's just starting at a new school in the United States. As you can guess, there are quite a lot of prejudices against her and so she is going through this brand new high school experience and also has that kind of stereotype on her back as well. While at this high school she meets this boy where he does show interest in her and she has to kind of come to terms with how to let her guard down and I just think that this is a really interesting coming of age story from a perspective that I personally have never read from before. So I'm excited to pick this one up here very shortly. After that, I got We Set the Dark on Fire by Taylor K. Meja. This is one that I have been wanting to buy for so long. I don't even know what it's about. I just know I love this cover. Like, it's just also it's a signed copy which I really was not expecting at all and it was still only like five bucks so hell yeah book outlet in this book we follow our main character Daniela she is from a poor family but her parents lie on her pedigree so that it makes her look like she's more prestigious than she is and in this world women are trained to do one of two things take care of the household or take care of the kids since her parents lied on her pedigree, she is able to marry a very important and very famous son. So not only does she have to manage working with that secret that she is not as illustrious as she made herself out to be, but she's also introduced to a resistance group who asks her to be a spy since she is now married to this important political son. So not only are we following that whole story of this girl trying to bring down this whole twisted society where they want to bring gender equality to, but turns out she's also a lesbian, so she has that to battle with too. Girl's got a lot coming at her, but I think she's gonna kill it. This is one where not only does it have a beautiful cover, but it sounds like a great story, so I am excited to pick this one up here shortly. After that, I picked up Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This is one that a lot of people recommended to me since I read Fangirl and I liked it so much, so they recommend I pick this one up as well. I'm excited about this one as well because it has great representation for mental illness. I know our main character suffers from anxiety and to kind of help her, she draws fan fiction and I'm pretty sure she meets this boy who likes her drawings or something of some sort and they fall in love and it's just this whole good feeling story, but it's mainly her just trying to battle the demons in her mind and how to push past them through other means. This does remind me a lot of Fangirl and I am excited to read it and see what I think. This one is cool because I know there is some forms of mixed media in here. You have some of her fan fiction drawings as well as you do have some texting conversations. So really excited to pick this one up and I think this will be a great contemporary. After that I picked up My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This is one that I just kind of stumbled upon recently, but ever since I've heard people talk about it, I knew I wanted to pick it up. I don't know much about this. I do know that it's supposed to be a retelling of the classic Jane Eyre novel. And while I haven't read that, I've heard that you don't really need to read that before you read this. So excited to read this and I've heard only good things about this book. After that, I picked up The Last Musician by Lisa Maxwell. Uh... What is this about? Wow, good pick, Sarah. So this book takes place in modern day New York and we follow our main character, Esta, who can time travel. In modern day New York, there is barely any magic left because of a dark energy called the Brink who is stealing the last bit of magic from mages and confining them to an island. So our main character has to time travel back to 1902 New York and 
gather this ancient artifact that she is going to bring back to modern day New York to help bring magic back. But when she gets to 1902 New York, she realizes everybody still has magic and they are powerful. So she has to go through a lot to get that artifact. So I'm very excited about this. I do know that there is a sequel. I'm not sure if this is a duology or a full series, but I am really excited to read this. Next, I got The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. This is again one that, like A Large Expanse of Sea, by Tahara Mafi. I have not really read in this realm. I know that this one deals with grief and how you cope with it. So I'm really interested to see if I like this kind of contemporary novel. So this follows our main character, Rin, whose best friend died. And before her best friend died, she sent her a text message. But it's been a year later and Rin still has not opened that text message because she just can't bring herself to do it. So that brings us to modern day where she is at the airport traveling and the airport gets shut down and she gets trapped in the airport overnight where she meets this boy named Xander and they accidentally mix up phones somehow, I don't know. But in the process, they have this whole slew of events and crazy situations that happen with them and adventures they go on and toward the end, I believe they they must just talk and she kind of understands how to deal with that grief that she's been holding inside her about her best friend and losing her best friend and maybe she gets to read that text message in the end I'm not sure but I'm really interested in it I know this is going to be a sadder book but I don't know maybe I'll get around to doing it when I'm in a mood after that I got The Gracier by Kim Liggett this is another one where the cover just speaks to me. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love this book. The Grace Year takes place in more of a dystopian society where girls are told that they have the power to lure grown men from their beds, which makes the woman just mad with jealousy. And because of that, at the age of 16, all girls have to be secluded to this camp until they don't have this power over men. But while they are at this camp, they have to be super careful because even if they go out into the woods, there are poachers and men that try to put them on black markets or rape them and just do disgusting things to them. So we follow our 16 year old main character Tyranny who dreams of a better life where they don't have to be pitted against women and feared of and have to almost fear men. So this story is not only about survival but for fighting for what is right as well as freedom and equality. So I'm really excited to read this and see what comes of it. And the last book that I got, which I am so excited about, this is probably one of my most anticipated reads of this year, which is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. I really don't know anything about this book and honestly, I don't want to. There are five sentences on the back and that's all I wanna know going into this book. And those words are princess, pirate, stowaway, mermaid, and the crew that makes the queen. Make it that what you will. You can read about this on your own, but this is a book that I really wanna go into blind. I know that one of my favorite authors, Tomi Adeyemi, blurbed it up here. So I am just really excited to read this, not only because it's a beautiful book and it has a beautiful spine, but I just, think it's so fascinating that not only does it have some princesses and some pirates, but there's some mermaids thrown in there. Like, oh, sign me up, girl. I didn't think I was gonna make it through that. It was a little touch and go there, but I figured it out. Out of these books, what are you most interested in? Have you read any of these? Are you gonna pick any of these up? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you guys in my next video and I hope you're staying safe out there. Bye.